Women's Association of Australia, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to everyone here to the 2008 GDAA Awards Dinner. This is the night where we recognise excellence in Australian game development. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the judging panel and also our following sponsors. I'd like to thank for the sponsorship of the awards dinner, Firemint, Heartbreak Studios and Infinite Interactive. Lovely. <laughs> I'd also like to thank our award sponsors, Autodesk, Ozgamers and Nokia. A round of applause for our sponsors, please. I'd now like to bring to the stage the Chief Executive Officer of Tantalus Media and the President of the Game Developers Association of Australia, Mr Tom Crager. Thanks Simon, thanks everybody and welcome on behalf of the GDAA to our annual awards dinner. It really is an important event for us. It's a chance, as Simon says, to honour excellence in game development in Australia. And it also gives us a terrific platform to promote Australian companies and to promote games that are developed here in Australia. I think we all know that it's very common to read uh, online magazines and uh, in the media generally, people saying that they're surprised that certain games were developed in Australia. They assume that uh, a uh, game that they're playing and enjoying was made in uh, North America or uh, in Europe or Japan. And as we know, it's very often the case that these very high profile games, these successful games, these very good games are made here in Australia. And one of the reasons why these awards are so important to us is that in honouring excellence, in honouring uh, the winners of these awards, we're able to promote the Australian industry generally. That's very important. I really want to thank uh, the sponsors of this dinner, three great Australian game developers who have uh, uh, put their hands in their pocket to uh, ensure that you've got uh, food on the table and that your, your glasses are, are full. Infinite Interactive, Firemint and Halfbrick, thank you very, very much for uh, your generous support. I want to acknowledge absolutely uh, as well our individual awards sponsors, Autodesk, Nokia and Ozgamers. Thanks very much guys and when we present the awards over the course of the night. Uh, uh, representatives from those companies will come on stage with me to, uh, to present the awards. Uh, I want to acknowledge uh, a few other companies, uh, Australian developers who have been, been generous in their uh, support for the conference over the course of the last few days uh, as well. Uh, Big Ant Studios, Red Tribe and, and Tantalus uh, as well. So thank you to all of those companies. Uh, let us uh, continue with proceedings. I really hope that everybody here has a good time. We've got some entertainment lined up for you and we're, we're trying to ensure that there's a bit of, uh, bit of colour in the, in the night. Most importantly though, I really want everybody to, uh, to have a, a terrific time as we celebrate what's been a great year for Australian Games. Thank you. We're going to kick off tonight's awards ceremony. Excuse me. We're going to kick off tonight's awards ceremony with the award for the best unsigned game indie category. I'm sure you'll agree that the level of the standard quality shown by this year's entrance has been nothing short of exceptional. To present the award, I'd like to bring to the stage once again Mr. Tom Crager and Mr. Joe Woodward from Autodesk. The nominees for the best unsigned game indie, or uh, well, finalists, I should say, for the best unsigned game indie of 2008 are Zompocalypse, Paul Greasley in West Park, <laughs> Battle Scarred, University of Ballarat, Finite Productions, <laughs> Debug, Quantum College, Brisbane Fighter Creative Team. And the winner is Diva. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Sure.